Drinking Water Quiz 3. 25 questions. No math. As always, I claim no ownership to any of the questions and material presented in this video as everything is sourced off the open internet. In the following slides, I have to the best of my knowledge presented the correct answers to these questions. This is a study guide. I'm doing this to help me learn. If it helps you out too, that's great. Question 1. Source waters include these two broad categories. Surface water and groundwater, reservoirs and wells, reservoirs and groundwater, flowing water and stagnant water the answer is surface water and groundwater the term slaking refers to the addition of water to quicklime the production of a lime slurry of calcium hydroxide the addition of water to reclined lime all of the answers are correct all of the answers are correct when operating a surface water treatment plant, which of the following laboratory tests is most significant for establishing chemical dosages for coagulating water? pH and alkalinity, total hardness, chlorides, calcium magnesium. The answer is pH and alkalinity. Which is not a common method for determining optimum coagulant effectiveness? The jar test, zeta potential detector, streaming current detector, or colorimetric method? The answer is colorimetric method. What water quality test would confirm whether a well has been contaminated by a nearby septic system? Fecal coliform, alkalinity, pH, or residual chlorine? The answer is fecal coliform. The most important factor in evaluating filter performance is head loss, filter loading rate, effluent turbidity, or mud ball formation. The answer is effluent turbidity. A head loss gauge indicates when the filter should be chlorinated, sludge should be removed from the sedimentation basin, the chlorine cylinder is empty or the filter should be backwashed. That is, the filter should be backwashed. What is the maximum recommended holding time for a sample that is to be analyzed for pH? None. It must be analyzed immediately. 48 hours, 7 days, or 14 days. The answer is none. It should be analyzed immediately. Which of the following indicates that the impeller of a centrifugal pump may be worn or damaged? The pump is delivering too much flow, the pump is very cold, the pump is not delivering the design flow, or the impeller speed is too low. That is, the pump is not delivering the design flow. If water is added to concentrated acid instead of acid into water, the water will sink to the bottom immediately, Dilution is faster, temperature decreases and the mixture tends to form ice, or heat is generated and the mixture tends to splash acid. That is, heat is generated and the mixture tends to splash acid. If you do what you oughta, you add acid into water. Water hammer may be caused by quick opening or closing of a valve, undersized pipes in the distribution system, excessive air buildup in the distribution system, or filling a water storage tank too slowly? The answer is quick opening or closing of a valve. Coliform bacteria are commonly found throughout distribution systems, desirable in storage tanks for iron digestion, highly resistant to chlorine, or indicator organisms. They are indicator organisms. A cross connection is any connection between the drinking water system and an unapproved water supply, any connection between two pressure zones in a distribution system, a special type of T connection for tapping into reservoirs and water tanks, a tool used for making wet taps. The answer is any connection between a drinking water system and an unapproved supply. Chlorine applied minus what equals chlorine residual? Chlorine dose chlorine demand, combined chlorine, free chlorine, or total chlorine? 
The answer is B, chlorine and demand. Which pair of parameters is most typically used to adjust chlorine feed rates? Chlorine supply and temperatures, sulfur dioxide supply and chlorine supply, sulfur dioxide supply and flow rate, or chlorine residual and water flow? Chlorine residual and water flow. Exhaust air from a chlorine tank room should be taken from where? Any location, floor level, near the entrance, at the ceiling? The answer is at the floor level, because chlorine is heavier than air. Groundwater in comparison to surface water is generally low in turbidity and higher in mineral content, higher in turbidity and lower in mineral content, more susceptible to seasonal changes, more susceptible to algae blooms? The answer is A, lower in turbidity and higher in mineral content. Overgreasing of an electric motor will cause the motor to draw less power at startup, will cause the motor to run cooler, will cause the motor to run smoother, or will cause the motor to overheat. Overgreasing will cause the motor to overheat. Mud ball accumulation and filter media is an indication of excessive turbidity removal, improper filter media, desirable contaminant removal, or ineffective backwashing. Mud ball is an indication of ineffective backwashing. Under normal conditions, flash mixing in the coagulation process occurs in seconds, occurs in minutes, occurs in hours, or none of the above. Flash mixing usually occurs in seconds. Which treatment step is not used with direct filtration? Coagulation, flocculation, sedimentation, or disinfection? The answer is sedimentation. When doing direct filtration, you generally don't do sedimentation. What is the reason that pumps are primed prior to use? To completely fill the pump cavity and displace any air? To avoid back siphoning? To conserve water? Or to prevent cross connections? You prime it to displace any air. A system owner or operator must notify the public of a non-acute MCL violation within notification is not required by mail or hand delivery as soon as possible but not later than 30 days after the system learns of the violation or failure by mail within three months after the initial 45 day notification for as long as the violation continues by broadcasting on a commonly listened to radio and television station in the area ASAP, but not later than 24 hours after the system learns of the violation. The answer is 30 days as a Tier 2 violation. What are some of the health effects of short-term exposure to lead? Causes excessively brittle bones? Delays in physical and mental development in babies and children? Causes kidney disease? or there are no short-term health effects. Uh, it's delays in physical and mental development in babies and children. Alkalinity is titrated to the bromocresyl green methyl red indicator endpoint, which is equivalent to this pH, 4.5, 5.5, 3.0, or 6.5. When titrating for alkalinity, the pH is to 4.5. That was a quick 25 question drinking water quiz. Hopefully it helps in your studies. Thanks.